Adam Lerner, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about Lightroom 4 because, man, I've just been playing with this and it's so incredible. There's so many great new little tools in here. Okay, so very first off the bat, here's an image that I shot recently and I, I edited in Lightroom 3 and I made a duplicate and I imported it to Lightroom 4 and I get this question mark over here, okay? Now what that means is that when Lightroom updated from 2 to 3, just like they are updating now from 3 to 4, they changed their process. So there's a couple of different ways that you could get rid of that and I find the easiest way to do it rather than just clicking on it is clicking with Alt and it just goes away, okay? So that updates it to the, the current process and that's done. You can look in the history. We imported it, we updated it to the current process and that's a beautiful thing. Now, what happens when we do that? Let's just go back for a minute. Look at the, how it was before, okay? We had the editing, uh, you know, in the uh, de develop module palette over here and we had exposure, recovery, fill light and blacks, okay? That's the old process. Watch what happens. I'm holding down the Alt key, click, boom. All of a sudden now we have exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. That is our new process. These are the new tools that we have over here. Now, very interestingly, let's just say we reset this completely, okay? Right off the bat, any image that you're going to be bringing into Lightroom 4 Catalog um, is always going to have this new palette over here. Interestingly, I wanted to also show you guys that if you go into an adjustment brush tool, so I'm going to hit the K tool, you have the exact same uh, palette in the adjustment brush. This is new. Previously, we didn't have the ability to go in there and spot edit white balance, which is so, so super cool. So let me get out of this for a second. I'm going to go back into the, uh, the import. I'm going to update current process. And these are the, the edit settings that I had previously now with the current process. Okay. So now there's a lot more stuff that we can do here. I mean, look at this. We can go in and we could reduce the highlights like that. Okay. And look what it does. It brings all that detail back into his face. All right. We can maybe add a little bit more shadow into here. Look at how cool that is. All right. And uh, clarity, we can go up on clarity. And the thing that's really cool about clarity is that you don't get all that chromatic aberration that you used to get with the old clarity adjustment tool. It's it's a lot more refined. So we can really add clarity without having all of that kind of, you know, weird aberration and such. We've got a specific tool here just for adjusting the white point and a tool for adjusting the black point, which is really super cool. All right. And like, you know, previously, if you hold down the alt or the option key, you can mask things off or mask off the image so that you can see under and overexposed areas, okay? So look at the before and look at the after. Look at all that definition that we got into his face over here, okay? That's the after. Look at all that stuff that came back. How cool is that? Now, what I wanted to show you guys is a couple other new features that are really super cool in the spot adjustment tool, okay? Or the brush tool. Look at this. <clears throat> Hit the K. And let's just say I'm thinking to myself, you know what? This area of the car is a little bit cool and the background's a little bit warm. So how do I warm just this part up? No problem, okay? What I do is I'm gonna just bump the temp color temperature up like that and I'm gonna just paint this onto the car. And look what's happening here. This is just warming right up. Look at it. Look at it just warming right up like that, okay? Unbelievable, you know? And I'm only applying a white balance adjustment. I'm just gonna hit the overlay tool just to make sure that I just get all this so that there's not little missing gaps and such. But look at how this, I'm only painting this white balance adjustment onto a select area of this image. I mean, that is really remarkable, all right? So now, look what happened over here. Now, there's a couple of areas, like I made a little bit of a mistake and I overlaid, I went over on the top of the car here. Well, all you have to do is hold down the Alter Option key and you go right into Erase. And you can just erase whatever you've done by accident and it'll just, boom, there you go. There you are. I'm just holding down the Option key and I'm erasing it. I'm gonna hit the O key to get rid of the overlay and look at that. Now, if I feel like that's not quite warm enough, I can just keep warming it up. Just keep warming it up like that. And I can also, conversely, I can also cool it way the heck down. So those are just some enhancements that have been added to the develop module. I just wanted to share these guys with you, share these enhancements with you guys, uh, you know, as soon as possible because I'm really excited about um, the, you know, 
more refined level of editing capabilities that are going to be available with Lightroom 4. So that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll see you soon.